Hey guys, I literally just recorded like close to a 20 minute video of Psalms 136 through 145 and I can't find the video to even upload it. So guess what I have to do? Reread all that I just did again. It's not in my Google Drive. It's not anywhere. <sighs> I'm just going to read it again, guys. I'm not letting anything stop the word. Not me. So, um, I'm just going to read it again. I'm going to read it again. We're going to um, get these psalms out for the day. Because we had just four more to read. But let me see. Five more to read. And we would have been done. But it's okay. I'm going to go back and read it. <clears throat> Psalms 136, let me read this up. So give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. And guys, if you missed the first video, um, check it out. Because this video pretty much should have been done in the next few minutes. But it's okay, y'all will get this a little bit in the, later on. The other one is almost done processing. Um, <clears throat> if you missed the, excuse me guys, because it's early. And the air is on and everything. But um if you missed the first video, check it out. Check out our other Psalms Bible reading. We're going to complete this because for May, which is tomorrow, we got a new assignment for the disciples. And it's parables and sins of Jesus and an in-depth study on the disciples. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to be focused on that. But, um, yeah, check out the one we just did this morning. We prayed. Excuse me, we also prayed for the month of May when we did like Psalms 119, the remainder of it through 135. So let's get it in, guys. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, his love endures forever. Who by his understanding make the heavens, his love endures forever. Who spreads out the earth upon the waters, his love endures forever. Who made the great lights, his love endures forever. The sun to govern the day, his love endures forever. The moon and stars to govern the night, his love endures forever. To him who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, his love endures forever. And brought Israel out from among them, his love endures forever. With a mighty hand and outstretched arm, his love endures forever. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God is on the move. Let's keep reading, guys. To him who divided the Red Sea, and I told you guys that that's Yom Suf or Sea of Reeds, asunder his love endures forever, and brought Israel through the midst of it, his love endures forever. But swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, his love endures forever. To him who led his people through the desert, his love endures forever. Who swept down great kings, his love endures forever. And killed mighty kings, his love endures forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites. Let me rest my back, guys. His love endures forever. And Og, king of Lashon, his love endures forever. And gave their land as an inheritance, his love endures forever. An inheritance to his servant Israel, his love endures forever. To the one who remembered us in our low estate, his love endures forever. And freed us from our enemies, his love endures forever. And who gives food to every creature, his love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord God of heaven, his love endures forever. Psalms 137. By the rivers of Babylon we sat and wept when we remember Zion. And there on the poplars we hung our hearts. For there our countless as us for songs, our tormentors demanded songs of joy. They said, sing us one of the songs of Zion. How can we sing the songs of the Lord while in a foreign land? <clears throat> if I forget you, O Jerusalem. May my right hand forget its skill. May my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth if I do not remember you. If I do not consider Jerusalem my highest joy. Remember, O Lord, what the Edomites did on the day Jerusalem fell. Tear it down, they cried. Tear it down to its foundations. O daughter of Babylon, doomed to destruction. Happy is he who repays you for what you have done to us. He who seizes your infants and dashes them against the rocks so that psalms 137 psalms 138 is of david it says i will praise you O lord with all my heart before the gods i will sing your praise 
I will bow down to your holy temple and will praise your name for your love and faithfulness for you have exalted above all things your name and your word. When I called, you answered me. You made me bold and stout-hearted. May all the kings of the earth praise you, O Lord. When they hear the words of your mouth, may they sing of the ways of the Lord, for the glory of the Lord is great. Though the Lord is on high, he looks upon the lowly, but the proud he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes. With your right hand you save me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hands. All right. Psalms 139 for the directive music of David, a song. It says, O Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O Lord. You hear me in behind and before. You have laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, <clears throat> excuse me, because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in a secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, the air conditioner. I just like it cold and I need to drink some tea, but I'm probably not going to do that until I make us some breakfast later on. All right, so um, verse 17, reading on how precious to me or concerning in the footnotes A that says, guys, to me are your thoughts, O oh God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. If only you will slay the wicked, O oh God. Away from me, you bloodthirsty man. They speak of you with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, O oh Lord, and not for those who rise up against you? I have nothing but hatred for them. I count them my enemies. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. So now we're on Psalms 140 for the direct of music, the Psalm of David. Rescue me, O Lord, from evil men. Protect me from men of violence who devise evil plans in their hearts and stir up war every day. They make their tongues as sharp as serpents. The poison of vipers is on their lips. Sit law, pause, reflect, meditate on this. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from men of violence who plan to trip my feet. Proud men have hidden, <coughs> excuse me, a snare for me. They have spread out the cords of their net and have set traps for me along my paths in law. O Lord, I say to you, you are my God. Hear, O Lord, my cry for mercy. O Father, Lord, my strong deliverer, who shields my head in the day of battle, do not grant the wicked their desires, O Lord. Do not let their plans succeed, or they will become proud, Selah. Let the heads of those who surround me be covered with the trouble their lips have caused. Let burning coals fall upon them. May they be thrown into the fire, into miry pits, never to rise. Let slanderers not be established in the land. May disaster hunt down men of violence. I know that the Lord secures justice for the poor and upholds the cause of the needy. Surely the righteous will praise your name and the upright will live before you. Psalms 141 is a psalm of David. It says, O Lord, I call to you. Come quickly to me. Hear my voice when I call to you. May my prayer be set before you like incense. May the lifting up of my hands be like the evening sacrifice. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Let not my heart be drawn to what is evil, to take part in wicked deeds with men who are evildoers. Let me not eat of their delicacies. Let a righteous man strike me. It is a kindness. Let him rebuke me. It is all on my head. And then that A for verse 5 of the righteous man is Lord, or let the righteous one. 
All right, let him rebuke me. It is oil on my head. My head will not refuse it. Yet my prayer is ever against the deeds of evildoers. Their rulers will be thrown down from the cliffs, and the wicked will learn that my words were well spoken. Amen. They will say, as one plows in face of the earth, so our bones have been scattered at the mouth of the grave or grave or she um sheol. But my eyes are fixed on you, O sovereign Lord, in you I take refuge. Do not give me over to death. Keep me from the snares they have laid for me, from the traps set by evil doers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I pass by in safety. So that's to Psalms 142. It's a masculine of David when he was in the cave of prayer. It says, I cry aloud to the Lord. I lift up my voice to the Lord for mercy. I pour out my complaint before him. Before him, I tell my trouble. When my spirit grows faint within me, it is you who know my way. In the path where I walk, men have hidden the snare for me. Look to my right and see. No one is concerned for me. I have no refuge. No one cares for my life. I cry to you, O Lord. I say, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Listen to my cry, for I am in desperate need. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are too strong for me. Set me free from my prison, that I may praise your name. Then the righteous will gather about me because of your goodness to me. So now we're on Psalms 143. It's a Psalm of David. It says, um, let, me, let me put this phone up because I'm holding the phone. Flipping the Bible and I have the light, guys. So just kind of bear with me. Um, okay. So Psalm of David. Oh, Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy in your faithfulness and righteousness. Come to my relief. Do not bring your servant into judgment for no one living is righteous before you. The enemy pursues me. He crushes me to the ground. He makes me dwell in darkness like those long dead. So my spirit grows faint within me. My heart within me is dismayed. I remember the days of long ago. I meditate on all your words and consider what your hands have done. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Selah. Answer me quickly, O Lord. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face. Hold on, hold on. Fix this for prophecy. Sorry, guys. Do not hide your face from me. I will be like those who go down to the pit. Let the morning bring me word. I love this. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love. For I put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go. For to you I lift up my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord. For I hide myself from you. Teach me to do your will. For you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. In your unfailing love, silence my enemies. Destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. In Jesus' name, I pray that for myself. Amen. So Psalms 144 is a um, Psalm of David. And it says, Praise be to the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. I love that too. He is my loving God and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge, who subdues peoples under me. O oh Lord, what is man that you care for him, son of man that you think of him? Man is like a breath. His days are like a fleeting shadow. Please let me get started. O oh Lord, what is man that you care for him, the son of man that you think of him? Man is like a breath. His days are like a fleeting shadow. Part your heavens, O oh Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so that they smoke. Send forth lightning and scatter the enemies. Shoot your arrows and rout them. Reach down your hand from on high. Deliver me and rescue me from the mighty waters, from the hands of foreigners, whose mouths are full of lies, whose right hands are deceitful. I will sing a new song to you, O God. On the tenth screen lyre, I will make music to you, to the one who gives victory to kings, who delivers his servant David from the deadly sword. Deliver me and rescue me from the hands of foreigners whose mouths are full of lies, whose right hands are deceitful. Then our sons in their youth will be like well-watered, well-nurtured plants, and our daughters will be like pillars carved to adorn a palace. Our barns will be filled with every kind of provision. Our sheep will increase by thousands, by tens of thousands in our fields. Our oxen will draw heavy loads, or our chieftains will be firmly established. There will be no breaching of walls, no going into captivity, no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed are the people of whom this is true. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. Amen. So let's do Psalms 145, guys. It's a psalm of praise of David. 
It says, I will exalt you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and exalt your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation will commend your works to another. They will tell of your mighty acts. They will speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty. And I will meditate on your wonderful works. They will tell of the power of your awesome works. And I will proclaim your great deeds. They will celebrate your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. All you have made will praise you, O Lord. Your saints will extol you. They will tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. So that all men may know of your mighty acts. And the glorious, <clears throat> excuse me, splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is faithful to all his promises and loving toward all he has made. The Lord upholds all those who fall and lifts up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you and you give them their food at the proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and loving toward all he has made. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak in praise of the Lord. Let every creature praise his holy name forever and ever. So guys, we got a few more songs to go. Um, a couple more, more than like two, but... We're on Psalms 146, and we're going to go to 150, and it's going to conclude our Psalms Bible reading and Bible study for the month of April, and I'll try to be back on here tomorrow, or as well, I'm not sure what time, but I'm going to try to start May 1st off right with, um, if not the parables of Jesus, then we're going to look at the disciples, um, I'm going to try to, like, focus on one disciple at a time, so we can do more in-depth on them, or like the most maybe two disciples at a time or however God lead. But pretty much for the month of May, you guys know what we're going to be doing with that. So I'm not sure what we're going to do first tomorrow. He'll give me, you know, that download. And then I'll come on sometime tomorrow, Lord's will, and um, upload it, God's will. So um, Psalms 146 says, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, all my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will same praise to my God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in princes, immortal men who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them, the Lord who remains faithful forever. He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The <clears throat> The Lord sets prisoners free. Sorry, guys, I had went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> Sorry. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the alien and sustains the fatherless and the widow. But he frustrates the ways of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever. Your God, O Zion, for all generations. Praise the Lord. So now we're on Psalms 147. It says, Praise the Lord, or Hallelujah. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant and fitting to praise him. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their excuse me, binds up their wounds. Excuse me, guys. He determines the number of the stars and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble, but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God on the harp. He covers the sky with clouds. He supplies the earth with rain and makes grass grow on the hills. He provides food for the cattle and for the young ravens when they call. His pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor his delight in the legs of a man. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Extol the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he strengthens the bars of your gates and blesses your people within you. He grants peace to your borders. 
it satisfies you with the finest of wheat. He sends his command to the earth, his word runs swiftly. He spreads the snow like wool and scatters the frost like ashes. He hurls down the hill like pebbles. Who can withstand his icy blast? He sends his word and melts them. He stirs up his breezes and the waters flow. He has revealed his word to Jacob, his laws and decrees to Israel. He has done this for no other nation. They do not know his laws. Praise the Lord. So now we're on Psalms 148, guys. And then we'll have two more after this. Um, and I just pray that you guys are blessed by these videos. I know many of you are. I pray that you are enjoying them. You are applying them to your life. God is being glorified. You guys are being able to go deeper with him, you know, spiritually and in your life. And that you're just blessed and that God get the glory. That's my thing. Um, that's my main goal. So Psalms 148, it says, praise the Lord, a hallelujah. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights above. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his heavenly hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Give me a second, guys, to get some water, please. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the skies. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He set them in place forever and ever. He gave a decree that will never pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all ocean depths, lightning and hail, snow and clouds, storm winds that do his bidding. You mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, <clears throat> excuse me, small creatures and flying birds, kings of the earth and all nations, you princes and all rulers on earth, young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His splendor is above the earth and the heavens. He has raised up for his people a horn. Horn here symbolizes strong one that is, that is king in the footnotes. The praise of all his saints of Israel, the people close to his heart. Praise the Lord. And then Psalms 149 says, Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. His praise in the assembly of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the people of Zion be glad in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music to him with tambourine and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the humble with salvation. Let the saints rejoice in this honor and sing for joy on their beds. May the praise of God be in their mouths and a double-edged sword in their hands to inflict vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples, to bind their kings with fetters, their nobles with shackles of iron, to carry out the sentence written against them. This is the glory of all his saints. Praise the Lord. And let's close with Psalms 150. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Excuse me. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his great. I'm sorry. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with tambourine and dancing. Praise him with the strings and flute. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I love you guys. God bless. Y'all have a beautiful day. Um, like I said, I've been up since 2 something this morning. I started recording like early 3. So y'all are going to get these videos very early this morning. And I want y'all to have a good day. God bless. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see y'all back on here, Lord's World, tomorrow.